Thank you, Lord. It's so good to be in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's so good to be in a relationship with the Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. I share with someone. There was a period in my life when I was not the same person that you see. I was wild and crazy. Yeah, Lord. My way to laugh is I can't even imagine you being wild and crazy. Yeah. And you're so kind of. Yeah, Lord. <laughs> but I still remember I shared with you all the two woes. Yeah. Hey, Amen. There are two woes in every single one of us. That's right. One is good and one is evil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wild wolf still works in the shadow. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh, so holy. Yeah. I try to let you have a wild wolf in you. Let yeah. somebody rub you the wrong way, that wolf will come out. Yep. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. Say the sanctified, you're gonna say some unsanctified words. Yeah. <laughs> somebody touch you the wrong way. Yeah. With their words or their action. Isn't that so? Yep, yep. I don't know yeah. why we like to pretend that we ain't got it. Let me say this song, we're gonna just mess it up. <laughs> it's amazing how we get saved and we want to have selective amnesia. When we have selective amnesia, we automatically forget certain things. I was telling you, was it you? Yes, it was. Yeah. You did that. Yeah. Uh huh. You acted that way. Yep. Yeah. I, I shared with you from the scripture, I used to remind them that they too were once foolish. That's right, that's right. Like, that's right. Like, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's Come on, somebody. Come on. If you have your Bible, turn with me to Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 17 through 25. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 17 through 25. And the kids remind me that we recognize our visitors. This is welcome. Yeah, Lord. Come with us again next Sunday. <laughs> and the next Sunday. And the next Sunday. <laughs> and the next one after that. Yeah, Lord. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. Are we there? Deuteronomy chapter 6, 17 through 25. Deuteronomy 6, 17. Through 25. God be all the glory. Yeah, Lord. And the word of God recalls according to the King James Version or the New King James Version. You shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord your God, his testimonies, and his statute which he commanded you. And you shall do what is right and good in the sight of the Lord, that it may be well with you. And that you may go in and possess the good land of which the Lord swore to your fathers. Mm -hmm. To cast out all your enemies from before you as the Lord has spoken. Yeah. When your son asks you in time to come, saying, what is the meaning of the testimony, the statute, and the judgment which the Lord our God has commanded you? Then you shall say to your son, we were slaves of Pharaoh in Egypt. And the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Yeah. And the Lord showed signs and wonders before our eyes and great and severe against Egypt, Pharaoh, and all his household. Then he brought us out from there that he might bring us in to give us the land of which he swore to our fathers. Yeah. And the Lord commanded us to observe all these statutes to fear the Lord our God for our good always that he might preserve us alive as it is this day. Then it will be righteousness for us. 
if we are careful to observe all these commandments before the Lord our God as he commanded us. Our focus verse is this of verse number 20. When your son asks you in time to come, saying, what is the meaning of the testimonies, the statute and the judgment which the Lord our God has commanded you, then you shall say to your son, we were slaves of Pharaoh in Egypt, and the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. When they ask, you will tell them that we were slaves, yeah. but the Lord brought us out yeah. with a mighty hand. Yeah. And for a subject I borrowed from the end of the city banquet, the theme last year, where do we go from here? Yeah, yeah. Where do we go from here? Thank you, Lord. Let us pray. Our Father, our God, we magnify you, we lift you up, we give you praise, yeah. we give you glory, and we give you honor. Thank you, Lord God, for yet another day's journey. Thank you for all of your many blessings. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Yeah. Thank you for your compassion, Lord God, that never fails. Yeah. You keep on showing us great things. You keep on blessing yeah. us. You keep on lifting us up. God, we say thank you. Thank you. Even now. Oh, and when we come against us, God, you continue standing our back. Yeah. And strengthen us to endure. We give your name, praise you now. If you want our list that do not know you as their personal Savior, I pray that on this day you will pick hearts and minds that they may yield unto you and cry out, What must I do to be saved? Yeah. If there's any sick among us, we speak healing to their bodies right now. And they will leave out this place healed yeah. of their affliction. Yeah. In the name of Jesus we pray. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The songwriter says to worship you, to worship you, I live to worship you, O oh God. Yeah. Yeah. I live to worship him and to give him the praise because he has done marvelous, marvelous. things. Yeah. As I indicated the 2019 NWCP theme came in the form of a question where do we go from here? That's a very interesting question, an intriguing question after 400 years of yeah. struggle in this country. Yeah. Where do we go from here? After 246 years of slavery from 1619 to 1865, where do we go from here? 100 years of Jim Crowism in the South from 1865 to 1965. Where do we go from here? After years of brutality as a people lynching and murdering perpetrated against the blacks in the South, where do we go from here? <laughs> After many fought, struggled, and died in Alabama and Mississippi that we might have a right to freedom right to do as others, where do we go from here? Yeah. That's a very good question that we must ask. Yeah. They say in the past 55 years of implicit racial bias and racial and ethnic disparity and disproportional minority contact from 1965 to the present, I think the question is an appropriate question. Where do we go from here? As I said earlier, I, I, I understand and I believe I'm not crazy enough to say that racism still does not exist because it does. Yeah. But it exists on both sides. Yes, sir. Sometimes, so a black man can't be racist, but there are some things that we have that we have to get rid of ourselves. Yes, sir. There's some things that we must understand. Mm -hmm. We must begin to think about where God has brought us from. In that text earlier, he said, remind them, or he said, tell your children that you were slaves in this land. Tell your children that you don't always have it so good. Yeah. Where do we go from here? Let's begin by learning from the past yeah. while also letting go of the past. Acknowledge and accept the fact that slavery did happen in this country. There's nothing we can do to undo what has taken place right. in that time.
time frame. However, we must study the past, even though I said that go over the past, we must study the past, not to get angry over it, and if you get angry over it, then it angry you to do something good about it. Yeah, yeah. But we must learn and grow from our past. Yes, Lord. We must learn and grow from the atrocities that were committed among us as a people. We must learn and grow from the degradation that our people experienced. We must learn and grow from the things that they went through, yet they overcame. Yeah. We must learn and grow that every obstacle that the white man threw at the black man, God gave us strength to overcome because we are
the fact that many atrocities were perpetrated against the white man. This generation of white folk, no, I'm not blaming them, but they got to take ownership of what their forefathers did to us. That's right, that's right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And a white man can't say to you, just get over it. Whoa. I can tell you get over it.
you is to give you a future and a hope. We have hope in God. It's time for us to take responsibility for our own selves. Laws can't change it. They pass all kinds of laws. We still not do what we are supposed to do. Come on, somebody. Some of the stuff that they people are crying about. Some of the laws that they try to pass down to keep us from going and all this other stuff. So, but we don't realize that they passed some other laws that was intended for good. It's not good for some of our people. Yeah. What are you talking about? This whole issue of social security and food stamps. So don't get me wrong. For some people, it's necessary. And that's when they pass laws that was intended for. For people who find themselves in a hardship situation. For what is happening in the black community. I need some white in the community as well. What is happening to me and black families on a perpetual cycle of poverty? Because I'm going to got a check and didn't work, and so I'm going to get a check in my hand. I'm going to get my and they're going to send me a check. And that's how they keep us suppressed. Because if that's all you're getting, that's all you know. If yeah. you can rise up, if you can do better, you ought to do better. That don't get me wrong. I had to get some once myself when I left on the road completely broke. Yeah. I told y'all about that back right then. I think God used that to deal with my pride. Yeah. You see, even when we were poor, yeah. growing up in South Carolina, I still had food. Yeah. Even though I wore hand me down from my two little brother, I still had clothes on me. Yeah. Right. And that's about it. So, so I never really had wants for anything. We didn't have all the best of stuff, but we had stuff. Yeah. I, I with me. And then all of a sudden, after 10 years, you know, I say something with a check going in the back every single one of the nice fucking check, if you will. I decided to leave the army and go to college and, and become a chaplain in the army. I went to seminary full time. My bank account dissipated. Yeah. My children's education fund dissipated. Finally, we were down to nothing. First time in my life, I didn't know where the next meal was going to come from. And some of you heard me tell the story. A friend of mine realized I was hurting financially. He came to me and said, Lance, he said, I got $400. I'm going to let you have pay back me whenever you can. This, this was Lance right here. I'm good, bro.
But my oldest daughter, the first one off to college, we couldn't even get her on the app a computer. My baby sister knew how to work on computers. She made one for her. She put one together. For her. we didn't have money. Matter of fact, we didn't buy her ice cream. That's how broke we were.
that we may have a right to the tree of life. It's called to you. Come unto me, all ye that have it in I will give you rest. Take my yoke up and learn of me. For my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. Will it come? The best decision that I made in my life was accepting Christ as my Savior. He will forgive you all of your sins. That's all the pay line for many. For membership. There's one among us that wants to become a member of this church by letter. Christian experience all candidates of baptism in the house. I have spoken to your heart and I look at you to join this fellowship. Here you come. This is your day. This is your opportunity. Go to desire prayer. Here you come to cast all your cares upon him.